All right, so hi folks, welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. Uh, the topic of today is uh, an introduction to hyperbolas. I thought that um, warranted a little uh, mood music here. So first of all, let me chat about a little bit about what hy uh, hyperbolas look like. They look a little like a pair of parabolas that are opposite of one another. And sometimes hyperbolas open left to right like this. Sometimes they open up or down like so. And they have equations of standard form here if they are centered at the origin. And again, I'll, I'll make another video for if they're not centered at the origin. Uh, x squared over some number squared that I called a minus y squared over b squared equals 1 or y squared over b squared minus x squared over a squared equals 1. And, you know, the first of all, when we take a look at this, you'll notice that this equation has no solution for x equals 0. You put in 0 for x, this term is gone, and it reads minus y squared over b squared equals 1. You don't get a real solution out of that. That's why this thing, I'll just say, corresponds to a horizontal uh, parabola. This one, this equation, has no solution for y equals 0. This corresponds to a vertical um, opening hyperbola. I'm sorry, I think I said parabola a minute ago, but hyperbolas. I drew kind of an example on the left here of what, what hyperbolas look like. First of all, they have a center. This one is centered at 0, 0. They have a pair of vertexes here, very similar to the vertex of a parabola. And again here, that one's going to be here and here. They have locations called focuses. And I'm just going to make up a value for that and put those here and here that are kind of inside the parabolic shape. Now, I say parabolic shape. They do, you know, they kind of remind me of a parabola, but there's a big difference between a hyperbolic shape and a parabolic shape. Hyperbolas, as you get away from the origin, they converge to lines. So when you get way out here, way out here, here, and here, they're basically straight. Parabolas don't do that. They may kind of closely approximate it, but nothing like hyperbolas do. Um, just as a... Um, a side note here, a common application of uh, hyperbolas, well planetary, or not planetary orbits, but uh, sometimes meteors and stuff that fly through space, they come through, if they get by our sun, they could follow a hyperbolic path. So right now it's, uh, what is it, uh, December of 19, about a year ago an object came through our solar system, I can't remember the name of it, but it was the first object that had ever been discovered that uh, we knew, when I say we, mankind, uh, knew that it was not from our solar system. And the reason they knew that is that it came in, and imagine this was our sun, and it followed like a hyperbolic type of orbit. Big difference between a hyperbolic orbit and an elliptical orbit is hyperbolic orbit, it never comes back. We're never going to see that object again, presumably. It came in like this, and again, in, in this graph here, this is going to represent our sun. And it probably had some sort of change in direction and then left. And whether it leaves or it stays bound in orbit has to do with its speed that it's uh, coming in at. And, and anyway, that's more detail than we need. But uh, planetary orbits like that, that are not bound in nature. So like if a meteor comes into our solar system and it's not bound, it will follow a hyperbolic path. So that's an example. Uh, this is just meant to be kind of an introductory uh, video for hyperbolas. Again, they have kind of this pair of shape. They've got a center to them. Like, for example, this one's centered at the origin. They've got a pair of vertices. They've got a pair of what are called focal points. And they either open uh, traditionally, you know, like right or left like this one, or up or down. And uh, that's kind of a rough introduction to them. Again, they follow uh, they have standard equations that look like this, again, if they're centered at the origin, and I'll make other videos for when they're not centered at the origin. So, again, it's just meant to be kind of a quick introductory video. I think I'll uh, save some examples for the next video. Hope that this uh, gives you a little idea of what these things are about. Have a great day.